Good morning, Michael here. Just hope that you're waking up in a great vibes this morning, ready for a wonderful day. You know, a day that's just going to be filled with blessings and majesty and glory and victory and joy and peace. <laughs> Lots of happiness. Oh yeah. Let's look at our meditation today. Coming from the Spurgeon Archives. And uh, it's coming from Romans 8 verse 28 that says, We know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Familiar scriptures. Let's look at the how Spurgeon expounds on it. Upon some points a believer is absolutely sure. He knows for instance that God sits in the stern sheets of the vessel when it rocks most. He believes that an invisible hand is always on the world's tiller and that wherever providence may drift Jehovah steers it. That reassuring knowledge prepares him for everything. He looks over the raging waters and sees the spirit of Jesus treading the billows. And he hears a voice saying, It is I, be not afraid. He knows too that God is always wise, and knowing this, he is confident that there can be no accidents, no mistakes, that nothing can occur which ought not to arise. He can say, if I should lose all I have, it is better that I should lose than have, if God so wills. The worst calamity is the wisest and the kindest thing that could befall to me, if God ordains it. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God. The Christian does not merely hold this as a theory but he knows it as a matter of fact. Everything has worked for good as yet. The poisonous drugs mixed in fit proportions have worked the cure. The sharp cuts of the lancet have cleansed out the proud flesh, the proud flesh and facilitated the healing. Every event as yet has worked out the most divinely blessed results. And so, believing that God rules all, that he governs wisely, that he brings good out of evil, the believer's heart is assured, and he is enabled calmly to meet each trial as it comes. The believer can in the spirit of true resignation pray, Send me what thou wilt, my God so long as it comes from thee. Never came there an ill portion from thy table to any of thy children. Send not my soul from whence can God relieve my care. Remember that omnipotence has servants everywhere. His method is sublime, his heart profoundly kind. God never is before his time, and never is behind. Oh, sweet words indeed. <laughs> I used to say, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. <laughs> oh man, the power of the tongue. The power of the tongue. Let's read God's word. Confess his words and remember always that Jesus is Lord. Until next time, Michael here. Bless up. <laughs>